Welcome back. We will proceed and in, uh, we'll start a new unit. In this unit, we are going to talk about um, a, an idea which is a very powerful mathematical and physical um, tool uh, that, that is applicable to many situations in physics. Uh, the topic we are going to study is um, what I like to call variational methods. Alternately, called variational principles. Now, this is an, uh, this is a very fairly broad idea that that holds in certain physical situations, not all physical situations. And what I'm going to do is start out with a statement of um, the sort of situation under which these methods or these principles are applicable. Okay. So, so here's the idea. It turns out that there are uh, certain phenomena in physics which uh, admit the notion of a state of equilibrium. Okay. So let me start with, by just saying that. Okay. Um, certain... physical phenomena admit the notion of an equilibrium state. Okay. Let me start out straight away by telling you exa uh, examples of what of such phenomena. Okay. The most prominent exa uh, example in the context of what we've studied so far is uh, mechanics. Okay. Especially nonlinear elasticity. Mechanics is one. Mass transport, which is a phenomenon that I've been promising we will study, but we haven't yet studied, is another one. Chemical reactions is a third. Okay, and there are many others. All right, what is this, uh, what is this uh, special feature about them? Like I've written up here, the admit an equilibrium state. This is an idea that you've actually probably come across in your study of um, physics and perhaps even mechanics at, um, at the undergraduate level. The, uh, the, the idea of this equilibrium state is that in some sense, a suitably defined energy is at an extremum, okay? So what we mean by this is that a suitably defined energy at an extremum. Okay. All right. If this is the case, um, let's try and study this a little more. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a few. I'll give you one or two very standard sort of pictorial examples. Um, um, I'll give you one that again you've definitely seen in the context of um, solids again. Okay. 
um, and, and so uh, mechanics again. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a uh, surface that looks like this. Okay, and um, okay, all right. Let's suppose we have a ball. Okay, it's sitting on the surface. Now, we know that if we define a, uh, if we say that this is position along this axis, right, x, and along this uh, axis, we say that we are plotting the height, and maybe we just choose to write that as um, y. Okay. We know that if the body, if the ball sits up there in terms of its potential energy, in terms of its gravitational potential energy, and of course we have gravity acting downward here. Okay, acceleration due to gravity acting downward. We know that uh, at that position, if we could hold the ball at that position, we would find that the potential energy is at a maximum. Okay. If it was in this position, right, if the ball were to be here, we would say that the potential energy is at a minimum. Okay. Now, in this position, the potential energy is at in, in, in the position where the, where the landscape is flat, we know that the potential energy is um, at some intermediate value, and I will just say PE underscore int, um, sub inter for that. Okay, it's at some intermediate value. Now, we know that if we were to try and hold the ball in this position, okay, the ball would would uh, would would be in an would be in a so-called equilibrium position, and by that we know that uh, the energy is uh, we know that the energy is at as, at at an extremum there. Okay, um, so we say that um, of course we've written that as potential as as by saying that the potential energy is a maximum there. Um, which is, of course, a special case of, uh, of an extremum. But we can also write here that um, ball is stationary. Okay. Likewise here, too, the ball is stationary. And here. Now, the fact that the ball is stationary at all these positions is uh, related to the fact that the, that the, that the potential energy is, is at an extremum. We do know more, however. Okay, so each of these is a position of equilibrium, right? So each of these is a position of equilibrium. Okay, this is also a position of equilibrium. And so is this. Okay. Of course, we know a little more. We know that in this position, the, the very first one where the potential energy is at a maximum, the ball is at equilibrium. However, is it a stable equilibrium? What if I were to perturb the ball a little? Right? If I were to perturb its position by a little? Would it just stay there, or would it come back to that uh, to, to to the point that I started out with at the very top of that landscape? We know, of course, from experience and perhaps even more from physics that that's not going to happen, right? It's going if you displace it, it's going to tend to roll all the way down the slope. So this is an unstable equilibrium. On the other hand, if it is down at the potential energy minimum, we know that if we now perturb the position of the ball. Okay, that's my 
symbol for a perturbation, we know that it's going to just return to that minimum position. Okay, so this is a stable equilibrium. Likewise, in this case, oh, I didn't even draw the ball here. So let me draw the ball at the very end here. Okay, so in this case, if we perturb it, we know that it is, um, it's not going to roll away, nor is it going to return to its original position. Okay, this is what we call a neutral equilibrium. Okay, the, the idea is that, um, first of all, the fact that the ball is at equilibrium in these three positions is, uh, we know from experience and from study, revealed to us by a study of the energy of the body. We also know that if we wanted to study that energy a little further, right, we would, it would tell us about whether the equilibrium was unstable, stable, or neutral. Okay, so if I write the potential energy as, uh, if I, just, just, just in order to have a symbol, if I write the potential energy as, um, I don't know, let me write it as pi. Okay, it's a symbol we haven't yet used. And in general, the potential energy is a function of the position of the body. Okay, we know that at equilibrium, because it's an extremum, we have that derivative of pi with respect to x equals zero. Okay, so we have an extremum of the potential energy, which we are going to denote as pi. Okay. And this is our basic un uh, understanding of what it means for things to be at equilibrium, right? That the energy is, is, is at, an, at an extremum, it may be a maximum, a minimum, or it may be um, something in between, okay? Right? And, and we also know more about how we can tell a maximum and a minimum apart and so on, and how we can even tell that neutral equilibrium position apart, right? We'd look at the second derivative and so on.